faces. Happy morning. This week's story time is going to be about hair. And I see all of us have different hair, and that's so great. Not all hair is the same. I see some pigtails, some nice just straight hair. I see yours and pigtails too there, Tommy. Very nice. And the boys, very nice. So today's letter to go with hair is the letter H. The letter H. Did anybody bring any letter H's with them today? I did see hot dogs. Oop, what do we have there? Very nice, Tom V. Who else has something with the letter H? Did I miss somebody? I'm sorry if I missed you. I'm scrolling. Oh, I see your book. I see your book down there. Very good, Artie. And then Natalie, I think I saw your hot dogs too. Very good. If you guys want to change the name, you guys can change the name. Sorry, Lynn or Lynn's son. Who? What did you bring up? I missed it. Oh, do I see a book? What's on the book? Oh, very cool. So great, guys. Perfect. And today, we're going to learn hairbrush for the sign language. So you can brush your hair or comb it out if you can. And that is... You can just grab your hand like this and just go like that. Hairbrush. Like, Mom, I need my hairbrush, please. And then for hair, you just pinch your little hair and that's it. Hair. That's right. Great job. That's exactly how you do it. Hair. Perfect. All righty. And this week, because I forgot last week, so silly of me, we're going to do our teach and repeat rhyme. It's called put your hands up. Put your hands up high. Can I see everyone put their hands up high? Whoa, what a big stretch, Natalie. Let's see, put your hands up high, Lynn, Marita's. Oh, Tanvi too, everyone's getting up high. Oh, Chris, you too. Very good. You ready? This song goes to do your ears hang low. And that goes. We're gonna put your hands up high, put your hands down low, put your hands in the middle and wiggle just so. Put your elbows in front, put your elbows in back, put your elbows to the side and quack, quack, quack. Can I hear some quacks? Quack, quack, quack. Perfect, good job everybody. Quack, quack, quack. Let's do it again, ready? Put your hands up high, put your hands down low, put your hands in the middle and wiggle just so. Put your elbows in front, put your elbows in back, put your elbows to the side and quack, 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 Wow, I see a lot of little duckies quacking away. Good job, guys. Quack, quack, quack. Very good. <laughs> So the first story I'm going to read now is called Bad Hair Don't Does Not Exist. So because everybody has different hair, I figured it'd be a good way to learn about all the different hairstyles. I'm sorry, I'm a little hot today. It's a little hot in here. Bad hair does not exist. My hair is curly. My hair is straight. I see some curly hair. My hair is straight. Look at that. Oof. Super straight. Do you guys have curly hair? Look at your hair, very pretty. My hair is short. My hair is long. My hair is combed. And my hair is tousled. Ooh, very pretty. My hair is short. My hair is long. My hair is combed. And my hair is tousled. There are all types of hair, and all hair is good. My hair is red. My hair is blonde. We do not have bad hair because bad hair does not exist. Look at all types of hair and color. Very nice. Very nice. My hair is white. My hair is black. There is no bad hair. My hair is Afro. My hair is Mohawk. Look at that. Superhero and a princess with Mohawk hair and Afro hair. So pretty. We do not have bad hair 
because bad hair does not exist. There are all types of hair and all hair is good. My hair is loose. My hair is braided. Look at that. All types of hair. All kinds, all kinds. My hair has dreadlocks. My hair is wavy. There are all types of hair. Look at that. So many different ways. And all hair is good. Play with your hair. Go ahead and play with your hair. Play with your hair. Have fun with your hair. Love your hair because all hair is good hair. Yeah, so make sure you try new things if you can. All hair is good hair. Very fun, yeah, very good. Like your ponies, ladies. I see you guys playing with them. Very nice. All right, let's see what else I got up next here for us. <gasps> Do we need another song right now to get some more wiggles out? Yeah, yeah. Did you guys bring your hairbrushes and your um, <clears throat> and your mirrors? Hi, honey. Hi. So if you brought your hairbrush and your mirrors, go ahead and bring them out so we can see them. Because what we're going to do, we're going to play along with the song, okay? And I'm just going to set this up so I can see all of us. If you don't have your hairbrush, pretend you have one. I'll pretend with you. All right, so I'm going to get our next song up. It's called Fixing My Hair. It's with the Sesame Street. <laughs> So look neat. at you guys. People wow. yeah. You look swell. That's why I'm fixing my hair. I'm almost ready and I'm fixing my hair. Very nice. When I finish fixing my hair, I'll be the best possible me. Fixing my hair. a lot of you guys fixing your beautiful hair. Look at you guys. Gentlemen, you've been doing a great job. Artie, I saw you and Alexander. I saw you trying to do it too. Awesome. Krish, hi. Awesome, everybody. Did you want to hear it again or should we go to the next story? What do you guys think? <laughs> oh, you want me to pull out the next book? I'm going to find it. Actually, we should probably do our rhyme first. I'm so silly. I keep forgetting about the rhymes. I get excited about the books. So the next rhyme we're going to do is called If You Love Your Hair. And it goes to the rhyme, happy and you know it. <clears throat> and we're going to do wash, blow dry, and comb. We'll do those three. Does that sound good? And that's going to go to the tune If You're Happy and You Know It. So if you want to clap along, go ahead and clap along with me. Ready? If you love your hair and you know it, comb your hair. If you love your hair and you know it, comb your hair. If you love your hair and you know it and you really want to show it. If you love your hair and you know it, comb your hair. Very good. Ready? We're going to do wash our hair. If you love your hair and you know it, wash your hair. If you love your hair and you know it, wash your hair. <laughs> if you love your hair and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you love your hair and you know it, wash your hair. Ah, wash your hair. <gasps> oh, we should probably blow dry it now that it's all washed. 
If you love your hair and you know it, blow dry your hair. If you love your hair and you know it, blow dry your hair. If you love your hair and you know it, and you really want to show it, uh oh, did I freeze? If you love your hair and you know it, dry your hair. <gasps> Very good. <laughs> Should we do brush our hair now that we have it all dried and washed? If you love your hair and you know it, brush your hair. If you love your hair and you know it, brush your hair. If you love your hair and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you love your hair and you know it, brush your hair. Very good. Good job, guys. Perfect. You guys do a fantastic job. Parents, There, this will be in our newsletter, so you'll get it later on today, and you can continue with the little rhyme if you like to keep everybody getting ready for the day. And all right, so we did our first book, our rhyme, and our second rhyme. And our song. Do you think it's time for our second book now? I think so. I think so. So our second book is Under My Hijab. And this is actually a monarch book also. And I'll just start. Under My Hijab. And it's by Helen Kahn. I lost the page. Sorry, guys. There it is. Grandma peeks into the oven as a brown loaf of bread starts to rise. Her hijab is carefully folded like the crust of my favorite pie. Look at, there's her grandma. She's cooking away, or baking away, my bad. Baking away. When she's at home in her kitchen, grandma fixes her hair in a bun. We mix up some chocolate cookies and share a sweet treat when they're done. Look at that. Grandma and granddaughter baking cookies together. Yum, yum, yum. Mama makes jokes with her patient as she peers in his ears and his throat. Her bright pinky job looks so cheerful, tucked into her tidy white coat. It's just like my doctor. She's always making jokes with me. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, at home, Mama lets her hair down. And as she rolls up the sleeves on her shirt, we laugh while we plant pretty flowers and make a big mess with the dirt. Do you guys garden and make a big mess too? I know I do when I help my mom. Lots of dirt everywhere. <laughs> Auntie works hard in her studio. She's always dressed funky and cool. Her silky hijab towers up high, pinned with handmade jewel. Look at that, look how pretty that is. She's painting, painting and showing how to paint, teaching how to paint. Very nice. I help hang my very own painting on the wall of her colorful home. Auntie's hair is streaked pink and purple, a fine work of art she can comb. Look at that. They're hanging up her painting they painted together. Very nice. So many colors. Jenna's our fearless troop leader. She makes us the gooeyest s'mores. Her hijab is topped with a sun hat wherever we hike, whenever we hike the outdoors. Look at that. Looks like they're hiking outside. And there's their fearless leader, troop leader. And the gooeyest s'mores, that sounds like such a good treat. When dark falls, we huddle together and share spooky stories all night. Jenna's hair glows as she whispers. I shiver and hold her arm tight. Grrr. There she is, shivering, holding her troop leader's arm tight, tight, tight. Spooky, spooky. Whoop. 
My sister Zanya in high school wears something stylish each day. She puts on a fashionable outfit and wraps her hijab in a cute way. There she is waving to her sister. See you later, sissy. See you at home. Very nice. <laughs> Zanya ties up her hair in the evening when she takes a short break from her book. Then we dig through the clothes in her closet to find tomorrow's fresh look. Getting ready for tomorrow with her sissy. Very nice. So much fun. Whoop. Iman tries to earn her first black belt. A sporty hijab frames her face. When she cracks a board into pieces, I am amazed her, hij her hijab stays in place. Look at, they're in karate class. Check her out. Stays right on while she gets her black belt. At my house, we dance to some music. I teach Imam, Imam uh, moves that I know. My cousin's curls bounce, jump, tumble as we put on our own private show. Look at them, they're dancing. Dance, 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 dance. Do you guys like to dance around? I saw it earlier. <laughs> These wonderful girls and smart women inspire me with all that they do. I can wear my hijab like each of them and, or try something totally new. Try something totally new. Under my hijab, uh, in a headband or a clip with butterfly wings, my hair shines bright like my future. I can't wait to see what it brings. Very nice. I can't wait to see what my future brings. Yay! Whoop. The end. And this book again was called Under My Hijab and it is a monarch book this year as well. So you can definitely find it on our shelves if it's not all checked out. <laughs> so we do still have some extra time and I did grab another book just in case we did have extra time. Did you guys wanna read another book with me real quick? Yeah, this is another fun one that I really like. It's called Boom No Gnosis Hair. Blech, can't say that word right now. This one's a fun rhyming one. Time to plait Jamala's hair, but the comb has vanished into thin air. It's up in the ceiling, Jamala shouts. The elephant's hiding it in his trunks. Oh, mom's looking for the hairbrush. She can comb her daughter's hair, but it's gone. It's missing. Oh, really? Last time it was on the camel's hump, the kangaroo's pouch, the toucan's beak, and the mouse's squeak. Now, Missy, no more playing. Spin around. Let's get to braiding. Aha! Look where the comb's been hiding. Look where the comb's been hiding. Whoops. Whoop, time for mom to brush her hair. Ah, cry, uh, Jamala cries. Oh, come on now, Jamala. This is no time to pout. You'll be late for school unless I comb it out. Close your eyes, count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'll be done with this plate by then. I hate my hair. It hurts. It's a pain. Oh, do stop making such a fuss. Why do you hate your hair so much? Because it's bad, bad, bad. Makes me so mad, mad, mad. I feel that way about my hair. Why can't I have good hair like the girls in my class? Shasha, Sarah, Brittany, Claire. Oh really, what's so good about their hair? They have hair that's long and soft and pretty. It glows and it's as it flows without plates, without pins, long or short. It can swish as they wish. Oh, Jamala, you silly. Why, why want their hair when the most fantabulous, splendorficious, bununos hair in the world is right there? So many different hairstyles. All of the different hairstyles. Really? And truly, you'll see your hair is electric, kinetic, and free. 
while your friend's hair always looks the same. You have hair that can frame your face or whiz off into stratosphere. Hair that can stay, say something different every day of the week, every month of the year. Want to try? Oh yes, a different head of hair every day of the year? Well, let's start with this week. So I can have puffs on Monday. So we're gonna have puffs on Monday, plights on Tuesday, plights on Tuesday, braids on Wednesday, braids on Wednesday, corn rolls on Thursday, Oop. and twist out Friday. Check it out. Lots of different hairstyles. Yes, and on Saturday, hair can be wild. Wild hair. I like having wild hair. But on Sunday, you must be grandmother's child. So on Sunday, you must look your Sunday's best. But guess what? No more hiding the comb. No more crying. Agreed? Aha. Uh -huh. Boo no no nos. And boo no no nos you. For the first day of school, here's your new do. Yay! So much fun having different hair. Now, promise, Jamala, no hiding the comb, no getting in the tizzy. Sometimes moms might be busy. So ask big sister or grandma or auntie, cause she's been there with her electric kinetic, boomtastic, fantastic, twirly, whirly, curly, fuzzy, snappy, nappy, wavy, crazy. Snappy crab, was it? Snappy, nappy, wavy, crazy. Ooh, no, 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 hair. Yay. The end. So yeah, there's so much different hair out there. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Make sure you always brush it and keep it good though. <laughs> you guys ready for our goodbye song? We're just running out of time now. We'll do our goodbye song a couple times if we want. But it goes, it's called the Goodbye Train and it goes to the tune of She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain. So that goes. So if you guys wanna clap along with me, we can do that together. You guys ready? All righty, chill. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon, toot, toot. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon, toot, toot. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon, toot toot. Do it one more time before we go. All righty, ready? Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon, toot toot. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon, toot toot. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon, toot toot. All right, it was so good to hang out with you this morning, my friends. I hope you have a great day. It was so good to see all my friends, Tavi, Natalie, Maria, Ani, Krish, Lynn, Artie. We'll see you guys soon.